welcome this is the part 2 video based on the chain rule concept for IBDP so he says f of x is given find the x intercepts of the graph so in order to find the x intercept what are we supposed to do it or it is with DDC you can draw the graph and you can get that points as from the graphing calculator 1.54 comma 0 and the next point is 4.13 comma 0 on the grid sketch the graph you can see from the graphing calculator and you can see that it is passing through 4 and between 1 and 2 and negative 4 negative 4 1 and 2 and approximately over here so if I could able to get that approximate graph this should be the way now Write down the gradient of the graph at x equals to 2. At x equals to 2, you need to find the gradient of the graph. So, if I draw properly much more at x equals to 2. x equals to 2 I am going to draw the gradient which is approximately equals to 2 the gradient you can use the graphing calculator and get the gradient at 2 that's why it is just only one mark question number 36 find f prime x so f prime x equals to 1 derivative is 0 minus 3 cos 2x derivative is minus sin 2x times 2 so it's going to be nothing but what negative 6 sine 2x find the values of x for which f prime x equals to 0 write your answers in terms of pi so negative 6 sine 2x equals to 0 so sine 2x equals to 0 so for sine the general solution is going to be 2x equals to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n times 0 so x equals to n pi by 2 so plug in n equals to 0 so x equals to 0 n equals to 1 we get x equals to pi upon 2 n equals to 2 we get x equals to pi it is only the limits are between 0 to pi so no need to try n equals to 3 and so on the function g of x is defined by g of x equal to f of 2x minus 1 the graph may be transformed to the graph g by the stretch in the x direction and by a scale factor half followed by another transformation so what is that transformation so i am starting with f of x it becomes f of 2x which is nothing but what it has been already been given then f of 2x onwards it becomes f of 2x minus 1 so what is this one is called as it is called as translation in y direction translation in y direction of negative 1 next Find the solution of the equation g of x equal to f of x. So use the graphing calculator, draw both the equations. You should be able to get that answer as 1.11. That is going to be the answer. Draw the g of x in the graphing calculator and f of x in the graphing calculator. See that way do they meet. They meet at or they intersect. They intersect at 1.11. Question number 37. The following diagram shows a water wheel with a bucket. The wheel rotates at a constant rate in an anti-clockwise direction. The diameter of the wheel is 8 meters. The center of the wheel A is 2 meters above the water level. After t seconds, the height of the bucket above the water level is given by h equals to A sine Bt plus 2. Show that A equals to 4. So, how do I show that? Now we know that amplitude of the bucket, amplitude is going to be the radius. The maximum height what is going to have is nothing but what radius, which is 8 upon 2, which is 4 meters. So therefore, A is going to be 4 because the amplitude is going to be the radius. A represents the amplitude of the bucket, which is nothing but what the radius. So therefore, A divided by 2 is 4. The wheel turns at a constant one rotation every 30 seconds show that b equals to pi upon 15 
so period what's going to be the period period is 30 seconds so for sine function the period is 2 pi by b equals to 30 it implies b equals to 2 pi by 30 which is nothing but how much pi upon 15 in the first rotation there are two values of t when the bucket is descending at a rate of 0 0.5 meters per second find these two values of t so i am going to find it out h prime t h prime t equals to minus 0 0.5 because it is descending descending means negative negative 0 0.5 t so what was h prime of t is nothing but what uh, 4 sin bt plus 2 derivative 4 sin bt derivative is cos bt and b bt derivative is b equals to nothing but how much minus 0 0.5 so 4 b is pi upon 15 cos of pi upon 15 times t equals to negative 0 0.5 from there cos of pi upon 15 t equals to negative 0 0.5 divided by 4 pi by 15 so what am i going to do that take the calculator and then find the value of this one keep the mode of the calculator in the radiance mode and what am i doing it is i'm directly writing out over here pi t upon 15 equals to cos inverse of negative 0 0.5 divided by 4 pi by 15 so you should be getting two values of this one which is 10.6 and t equals to 19.4 from the calculator for general solution for causes 2 and pi plus minus alpha use this formula and get two values of t make t as a subject you can move this pi upon 15 to the other side also and write t equals to cos inverse of negative 0 0.5 upon 4 pi by 15 divided by pi upon 15 and use a general solution and get these two values of t which is 10.6 and 19.4 next part d determine whether the bucket is underwater at the second value of t so what am i going to do it out is how do i know i'll be finding it out h of t if it's h of t is less than zero it is underwater and if h of t is greater than zero it is not underwater so i will be finding h of 19.4 which is 4 sine of 19.4 pi divided by 15 plus 2 i will be getting negative 1.19 so therefore it is underwater hence the bucket is underwater last question 3 sin x plus 4 cos x sketch the graph so directly from the graphing calculator it is based upon gdc so from the graphing calculator you can get it out 3 sin x plus 4 cos x so i am drawing over here negative 2 pi then it is 2 pi then it is negative 5 and it is positive 5 this should be the approximate shape what is the amplitude 5 is going to be the amplitude what is the period 2 pi is going to be the period the x intercept between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and 0 when you see from the calculator minus 0 0.927 hence write f of x in the form of p sine qx plus r so we know 5 sine x plus 0 0.927 then part d write down one value of x such that f prime f prime of x equals to zero f prime x equals to zero so means the first derivative should be uh, the f prime x equals to zero means either it is a 
maximum point or a minimum point maximum or minimum so either this point this point or this point so maximum point or the minimum point so when i'm drawing the graph i draw the graph once again so maximum point or the minimum point so of x values so what are the answers that i'm going to get it out either negative 5.6 or negative 2.5 or 0.64 or 3.8 part d was that then part e write down two values of k for which the equation has exactly only two solutions so when it has only exactly only two solutions when it has exactly only two solutions when i draw at five or when i draw at negative five so when i draw the straight line either at negative five or at five then let g of x equals to ln of x plus one there is a value of x between zero to one for which the gradient is of f is equal to the gradient of g find the value of x so gradient of g formula is ln 1 upon x plus 1 then f prime will be 3 cos x minus 4 sin x both should be the same so 3 cos x minus 4 sin x equals to 1 upon x plus 1 equate it out draw the graph you should be able to get it out 0 0.511 that's going to be the answer so these questions are basically purely based upon graphing calculator you can give a try see you in the next video bye